Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kofi if you are first time here, and I'm a makeup artist and a lot of everything beauty based in Toronto, Canada. And from the title, this video is an updated um, everyday makeup routine, an updated version of my everyday makeup routine. I decided to do another video because the last time I did this was like two years ago, and a lot of things has, has um, obviously changed. My routine has changed, products have changed, and I just decided to like you know give an updated version. Secondly, I if you follow me. Um, on YouTube, if you are a family member, you can you would see that sometimes I film like tutorials and stuff for like you know artists to people who are like into like you know makeup artists like, pretty much. But this particular routine is something that fits everybody. It's very beginner friendly. Um, it's just it's for the everyday woman, everyday school, you know, girl, everyday working lady. Is it just cuts across everybody so i decided to just update you guys and give you guys a new video so if that's something you're interested in definitely keep watching <laughs> And as you can see, I've already done my brows. If you're interested in seeing a brow um, tutorial with my brow routine, I have a video specifically on brows and you can check that out. Um, so let's just jump right into the next step. What I have on right now is the Beauty Moisture Serum. I've used it a lot on my channel. I'll put it in every product I use there will be in the description box. I've um, used this and the sunscreen I use this every day. So yeah, this these two things I currently have on. I'll be going in now with the Dynasameric um, Beauty Oil. I like this oil um, because it's not, it doesn't make me greasy or anything. It's just, like I said, just a facial oil and it works great under makeup. And if you're an OG follower of mine, you know, my next step is to con um, even out or conceal my, you know, hyperpigmentation or dark areas. And I'll be using, um, today I'll be using this um, stick foundation from Black Opal Beauty. So I'm going to scoop a little bit out. Put some at the back of my hands here. When I work with creams, I actually always like to like warm up the product at the back of my hands first. So I'll take a small, dense brush like this, put that into the foundation, and then try to color correct these areas right here. So basically, my problem areas are my cheeks, underneath my eyes, around my mouth, and basically that's it. So I think I'm going to turn on my ring light. It's back to the tutorial. For complexion today, I will be using the Dance Samaric Flooring Balm. I have been using this a lot lately and I'm going to tell you why as we go on. I'm using the shade 10 and the shade 8. Now for 10, I am going to use that around the perimeter of my face. This is slightly, this is darker than my complexion. Uh, it has the perfect um, reddish brown um, hue to it. I'm going to take a little bit from this with my color box brush in CB3 I'll be going into that number 10 blurring balm from Vanessa Myrix and I'm going to be going around from the top of my face like I said and I'm just pressing that product in now like I said I've been using this a lot lately and I particularly love these blurring balms because they are perfect for all skin types and I don't know what uh, ingredient she used in from this product but they are so beautiful they work well for they don't they don't they don't turn out like matte or they just give you like a semi a soft matte radiant finish and that lasts throughout the day. So like I said, this is perfect for all skin types. And I like them because she has a universal shade as well. I use that for I use that for like my clients and or use that even on myself when I'm probably working with foundation. But I also like that she came in with you know other shades. Like it like the shades she has like tinted, like the shades are like tinted. I don't know why I'm putting the words together. But you know, from like apart from O1, which is universal shade, from two, three, four, they're quite tinted. So if you have somebody who wants to apply complexion product but want to go like really sheer you don't want to worry about like priming or anything like i said the formulation of this is just so unique it's it sounds as you don't need the primer underneath pretty much it lasts it just you don't need the primer underneath it works well as a complexion product and as a primer only i don't know how to explain that part but so whenever i wear this i really don't worry about having to um having to use a primer 
or what's it like I, I don't worry about all kind of things it's just a one like it's just like a one step product if that makes sense so i'm using 10 now on the perimeter of my face and as you can see it's already giving that bronzing effect now one thing i want to, you to um take note with this product is or with this routine is i am not necessarily aiming for um, coverage this is like an everyday routine it's it's this kind of makeup or this kind of products particularly is something you wear when you don't want it doesn't really want coverage it's very sheer it's very um it's 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 yeah it's very sheer it's very skin like so if you're gunning for foundation then probably this is not it for you um, i'm somebody who actually really likes my makeup looking as sometimes i go for like full glam i love foundation i wear foundation almost every time but sometimes i just don't have the time for that extra extra layer of you know extra layer of cake so like i just sometimes want to look as skin covered or and as radiant or as skin like as possible so next step now is to go in with the shade 8 and i'm going to apply that at the center of my face with the same brush that i used earlier i am going to be dipping that product into it like so and applying it at the center of my face The blend is so seamless and so smooth. We're gonna turn side by side so you can actually see um you can actually see what the coverage looks like and what the finish looks like. It's so beautiful. I don't think I'll be going in with more. I think I actually like I actually like how it looks. Yeah, I like how it looks. But I'll be taking 10 again just because I had I think I've rubbed off um what was initially there and i'm just going to reapply that shape back here i'm going to my under eye concealer now and i'll be using the two Faced concealer in warm sand now with the same small dense brush i used in applying the black power function beginning i'm going to use that to blend out the um, concealer Now, then I'm going to blend out the under concealer now. And I like to blend that upwards so that it gives like the illusion of a lifted eyes I'm moving straight into blush and I'm using the blush in In a small angled brush, like this is one from Luca Beauty, and I'm just blending that. I personally love blush a lot and I think I want this um the blush intensity deeper than this. So I'll be going in now with Grace um from Rare Beauty as well. It's just a, a like a, a deeper shade of pink. And I will be applying this right. Here. And I'll take that same brush I used to blending out the other brush and I will just blend that out over here. And as you can see it's deeper. That's what I want. Now I will take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder 
in dark and I would press on the beauty sponge now around that like that and just apply this powder everywhere so I'm under my eyes first Now I'm putting this everywhere on my face because I'm kind of indirectly giving me a little more coverage than the balm did. Next step, I'll go in with the Uda Beauty Powder in Blondie to set my under eye. Press that on the back of my hands to remove the excess. And Now with that brush that I use and apply my Prince um, Balm, just put it all over my face now to press that powder in. I'll go with a powder blush and this one is from Tarte Cosmetics. The same brush that I used in applying um, the liquid brush, I would start off with this lighter shade first. And I'm applying that just the same way that I just the same way I applied the liquid blush directly. I really always apply my blush anyway, so I'm just pressing that the same way. I'm bringing that around as well my cheeks. Now I I I personally love blush, like I said before. So like I really do not. In fact, the 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 more the blush appears, the better for me. But if you are someone who doesn't like blush, then you can just like you know go in with your preferred shade and press it on as mildly as you want and lately i've been trying to i've been bringing my brush a little bit in towards just so like this entire area is like flushed out so that's good it just gives a more it gives a more dull like effect I know I was going to go in with the two with the darker um, shade of pink, but I think I'm okay with this one. I like how this one looks. So next up now is to go in with this Microsoft powder from Sephora, and this is the shade Sienna. I am just going to use this Real Techniques brush. Um, take a little on the brush. I love this shade because it's um, to me. I feel like it's just the perfect shade for me for bronzing. It has this. It's a reddish brown shade and it's just going to um, further emphasize the um, number 10 that I applied at the perimeter of my face area and also like set it so I'm going to just put that right here I love bronzing as well so um, I probably might apply a little more than what some other people would have prepared, but that's just because I like it now. If you are trying to copy this tutorial, like I said, everything is a preference. You don't have to go on like I am. You don't even have to use the things that I'm using. Just use what you would naturally prefer uh, to get the, the, the kind of intensity or the result that you you like. I love bronzing. I like I like it. I said bronzing. Let's see bronzing now. I like bronzing. I like it when my when it's like you know it's there i can see it um i also love blush so that's why you can see it like me so if you're somebody who doesn't like that you can definitely like skip that or apply yours properly like apply yours less i'm taking a small eyeshadow brush like this and i am going in with that same powder i used in bronzing and i'm just going to tap that like so and try to stop out my 
the nose a little bit just to give it a little bit of definition I usually would never wear eyeshadow even when I'm wearing it with like a full glam I still sometimes will skip eyeshadow it's not just my thing and this is sometimes all I do I just throw in that bronzer on my eye like so and that's it once i define my once i define my crease area and kind of like lightly just define my nose it just makes a very light but significant difference that is enough for me i'm just going to soften out the edges of that nose contour now that that's done i'll be going in with my setting spray now and this one is from charlotte tuberry and i'm just going to that over. Now going back to my beauty sponge now, I'm just going to press that gently into my skin. Now next step for me is to first brighten my under eye and for me I will always go in with a brighter um, powder. I'll be using the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder in shade 2 and I'm going to take like a powder puff press on a little bit on here and try to dust up a little bit and go in gradually and I'll just try to bend my eye because I have like liquid under my eye I'll bend that in I just press the powder in upwards motion as well in upwards motion bring that to the side of my nose almost everywhere that I highlighted So now take a small powder brush like this, one is from MD Cabell in the number NK49 and I'm just going to lightly sweep that powder Next up is mascara guys and I'll be going in with the Oda Beats Legit Lash Mascara So I have to fix my lashes behind the camera because we struggle to put on I don't know why. But if you would like to see a lash application tutorial, do let me know and I'll film one. I also don't know what brand these lashes are. Um, but I, I'm sure they're Nigerian brand, but most of the lashes are Nigerian brands. Um, but yeah, it's a old one and I just found them and put them on. I like them sharp, I like them. So next thing now will be to tight line the lash line. And I'm going to be doing so with this eyeliner from Beauty Line by BB. Just like just tidy it up a little bit and so that all that glue, like I said, it's not a new lash, so that all that glue residue will not just be, you know, strained up there, just so it can look neater when I close my eyes. It's so stressful sometimes feeling the natural like i've been trying to you know just because the sun is so unstable and oh, but anyways guys <laughs> anyways we're moving now to lips and i am going in with this pencil almost done that's to show you how much i use and how much i love this pencil this is the nyx um downtown beauty and with my lips there's actually no coordination whatsoever so i'm just applying this 
all over my lips and I go in with this gloss from Kiko Milano I don't know what number this is because the number has erased but yeah and I just go all over So now the final step for me is to go in with um, a liquid liner and just try to create some beauty marks around my face. That's it guys, I'm going to throw on my wig now and I'll be right back. The wig is on, the slate is complete and this is the finished look guys. I can't be the only one who has a summer wig, but this is like my summer wig. Everywhere is summer, this wig is going along with me. <laughs> Anyways guys, it's the finished look. Uh, this look is so easy to do. If not because I was in the tutorial, I probably would be done with the makeup in like 20 minutes max because I'll just be like, you know, so easy to, to do. Your skin is still breathable. And trust me guys, when I tell you this is going to be start the summer hit, best believe it is. The combination of the Glory Balm from Danessa Marix, the Chanel Tiburi setting spray, the powders, the way they were layered is just going to help extend the wearability of your makeup. It really matter, makeup will always break down at the end of the day, but this combination should give you nothing less than 10 to 12 hours of the wear and take it from someone who has combination to oily skin during summer and you so i understand i understand the girlies that say oh i have oily skin i have oily skin i feel like the formulation from the blurring balm just helps to keep everything balanced and that's exactly why that especially has been my go-to in terms of complexion and if you ever you know wear this and then you probably happen to sweat during the day all you have to do is just get a fan a paper a fan hand paper, anything and just blow yourself down and it will just dry it should go back down so the sweat will not be on the surface your makeup is still intact that's just a tip for anyone who probably will say oh why i use a lot of this and i still end up sweating if you do this and your makeup isn't creasing because your makeup should increase with this combination so like all you have to do like i said is because you can't there's nothing you use can withstand sweat i've come to just realize that so if you ever happen to still use good makeup or use some of these products or even anything even it's not but still works for you and you still happen to sweat as you know time goes on all you have to do is just go to a well ventilated area or get a fan or anything and just blow yourself down and once it dries down everything dries down with it and if you end up you know oiling and make me wear this makeup for more than like 10 12 hours and you start to see like oils coming through because at the end of the day makeup is not so good. all you have to do again is just get like a blotting paper or a, you know a a sheet and just lightly press it down and your makeup will be as good as new and apologies guys i feel it natural light stays i've natural light is quite unstable so there's fluctuation in my lights and i can already tell so i apologize if this is like a disturbance to some of you but um we've made it to the end of the tutorial and i hope that you guys enjoyed watching and you guys learned a tip or two and if you made it this far please don't forget to like comment subscribe it means a lot to me and i'll see you again in the next one stay beautiful guys bye